my name is Evelyn Joy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to the queen of comedy, in my opinion, the funniest person on the internet, Liza Cozy. Now I have watched a lot of her videos and I never clicked subscribe on her channel yet. I didn't get around to it until today. I watched her video and I just had to subscribe leave her a comment and make a react video because this video you just have to see this is called why i took a break by liza cozy sometimes when we watch youtubers that are all comedy all the time they're not showing us their other side because comedians many times are drawing comedy out um because it's coming from a dark place. Uh, they, they cheer up the world to in turn cheer themselves up a little bit. Um, so let's watch. High quality video here. Go subscribe to Liza Cozy yeah. for real. I do my hair check my nails. She's so Baby, funny. Hair Even when she's check being serious, nails. she has funny, Baby, funny videos. Seconds of the video. to not take life too seriously. I love it. Because I, I did this past year. It's the kind of stuff that I didn't realize Tumblr quotes like only time can heal or you have to love yourself before you can love anybody else. The kind of stuff I didn't know those were real. The real. This is gonna sound so lame but I really want to spread love but I have to have it first, you know? I didn't realize that me being real and vulnerable her. and open Bring and honest video. would help others. And I also didn't think people wanted to see that side of me. It's just time right now, and it's healing, and it's growth. We're so young. She's trying to make this video a lot. I did lose my mind this year, and which is great, because normally I'm stuck inside, but <laughs> anxiety. I didn't post my struggles. I only spoke of them in life and not online, because I'm a public figure that loves to live in private. But I did feel that pressure to like go live it instead of go live it. I want to make happy videos. I don't care about the quantity of videos that I post. I cared about the quality, and that's why I stopped making them, because I wanted to ensure good content, content from me. I lost myself, and I didn't want to document the process. I wanted to learn and live it. I know I may have disappointed my audience, but I'm being- No, I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I'm really proud. I was in a bad place, she made and if bad. you're in a dark place right now, just know you didn't get a one-way ticket there, all right? Because you got a round trip, baby! That's right! <laughs> Come back around. Look, I know I'm insane. Love it. But love I'm it. Love it. I'm also insanely proud of myself and how much work I did on myself this year. I worked at the hardest I've ever worked in my life, on my life, this year. The feeling love of it. being alone can sometimes trump the feeling of being alive. You forget to be grateful for your life because you're alone. You gotta get out. Run. Seriously, exercise helps a lot. Speaking of exercise, I got an analogy for you. Like, you know how you take care of your physical health, you go outside, you exercise, you do squats. A lot of them. And it's a practice that's routine, you have to do it every day. And you work on building and strengthening your muscles. Your brain is a muscle. muscle. You have to find your routine. You have to find your recipe for your own happiness. It's like wanting a filet mignon, and you're looking at somebody else's recipe for happiness, and you copy theirs exactly, and you end up with a cake. You're diabetic. You can't have the cake. Alright, see? Now you get it. This is why I script my videos. <laughs> you can take tips from other people. What? You can take advice from other people, but you can't live your life like other people. 
This year, I kind of realized that this is my job. <laughs> I thought this was just a hobby that I paid for dinner. Although it is a blessing that this job has allowed me to be financially stable. Being financially stable doesn't mean that you emotionally are. Or mentally yeah. are. How happy yeah. I am in my happiness is how I deem myself to be successful. Forget a net worth. Talk about my self-worth. That's huh. right. Yo. Also, Freak. a really cool quote that I've heard recently about success is... On my computer that's why i'm looking over here success is going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm and although it looked like i had a lot of enthusiasm i had a loss of enthusiasm and when i lost mine i just pretended like i had it i thought i had to be happy that i had to be a feeling i wasn't feeling so that others could feel it too i do consider that a part of my purpose whoa that. spiritual but I do. <laughs> I want to make others feel good with yeah. YouTube, with media, with entertainment, and not just the industry. But that's the case with social media. You don't see the bigger picture. You post the picture perfect one. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 that's oh, right. Oh, People post their good ones, right. not their bad ones. We post our peaks and not exactly. our valleys. Exactly. Okay? Like, valleys are hidden, hidden valley, hidden valley ranch. But you gotta talk. You gotta be open. <laughs> that's what you do. And I'll say this because. I thought this at one point. I thought sharing my feelings was a burden on others, or I thought I sounded ungrateful because I was sad about the life that I was living. And hell no, that ain't true. <laughs> Freaking grateful to those people that loved and listened and understood and validated and related. I just want to encourage people to be open-minded and be open about your mind. Talk about how you feel because you're not the only one that feels it. Here's a little equation for you. Expecting change and doing nothing equals insanity. Did I do that the wrong way? <laughs> you might Expecting change and doing nothing. And trying new things will mix it up and allow you to experience life a little differently. It's change is inevitable. I yes, I changed. She's so like dramatic now and like trying to be Mahatma Gandhi. You know what? I'm related to him somehow, some way. We probably went to the same wedding at some point. Whatever. <laughs> also, you're seeing a side of me I've never really shown before, so I've always had a side of me. I love this stuff. If you don't like that's me, funny. that's okay. I don't like you. I don't even know you. You still watch though, huh? <laughs> Thanks for dinner. But if you don't like me, it's okay. Thanks for dinner. Talking to the haters. Take your time, take your time. You'll come around. I've read a lot about myself that I didn't know about myself. <laughs> now, people who comment those comments are also sad. If a bad bitch gets you, guys, because you're wasting your life away. <laughs> you need to stop wasting your life watching somebody else live theirs. Don't let others tell you who you are That's or right. what you're not. Like, I get it. You ain't gotta like me, alright? The person you love the most in your life. Somebody hates them. I do. Yep. Your mom sucks. And the person that you hate, <laughs> somebody loves them. There's people that hate Oprah. <laughs> like, what? what? <laughs> and please know to each their own, and that's all is different and unique to each person. And know that what I do or what I suggest may not work for you. We're constantly on our phones or on our feed all the time. Your feed can sometimes starve you of reality. It can feed you the wrong idea of beautiful or the wrong idea of others' lives. Might as well feed yourself something good. I follow Freak. several of these accounts on the Instagrams. Free plugs, free plugs for everyone. That's a really small thing you can do to help. Also suggest therapy. <laughs> it's dope! <laughs> By dope, I mean expensive! <laughs> By expensive, I mean worth it! Oh my god, it's been a year. Happy anniversary to my therapist. I love you, Sarah. It sounded like I just said some random white girl's name. But I really do love you, Emily. And if you don't believe Emily. me, that's okay. <laughs> Change the journey. exist, but that's okay. <laughs> there are other methods for your madness. There's tea, positivity. There's a meditation, there's medication. Talk to your friends, but also be your own friend. You can have a dialogue in your head that says, I'm not beautiful enough or smart enough or funny enough or enough, period, to live this life. Imagine if you heard your best friend say that sentence. You would tell her the truth, which is the exact opposite of that. That she yeah. is all of those things and more. So you gotta tell yourself that. God, I'm so corny. Oh, but you know what? I'm saying we this. Love you for being corny, corny, Liza. Oh God, we love you. Definitely. DJ Khaled. And if you learned one corny thing from this video, <laughs> I hope it's that it is so more than okay to make your mental health and your happiness a priority. And the reason why I'm not telling you everything I've been through and where I've been is because I'm so focused now on where I'm gonna go. I want you to see the breakdown so you just saw the break. <laughs> because spending time online came detrimental to my mental health, so I had to go learn how to edit on Final Cut Pro. <laughs> and I'm so proud of the progress that I've made because now I consider myself to be successful. Yeah! That's the first time I've said that! Woo! That feels good. Do it again. Is there an Ariana Grande sound with successful? Hold on, let me try to be relatable to the teams real quick.
Well, you know, this video is demonetized. Look, if you thought this whole video was corny or cringe, it's not your time to hear it, okay? And maybe you never need to hear this. Maybe you'll be fine for the rest of your life, you lucky son of a bitch! Excuse me. It's sneezed. But if I did touch you or resonate with you at all, then maybe you're going through a tough time, too. And I promise you, you're going through it. You're gonna come out the other side. So that's all I have for you guys today. <laughs> I don't think I'll be making these videos very often. Unless you like them, I'll do anything you like. I just want you to like me. What? No, wait, what? I just relapsed. I really am cool. <laughs> this life that I live. Oh, God. I thank God for it every day. It's really, really cool. But your support has has done for me. I owe you guys a lot. <laughs> I will name my firstborn child after one of y'all. On accident. There is a high probability that it could be your name. <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for allowing me I to use this platform for more than Just name her Evelyn. If all is cool, <laughs> please know you are not alone, all right? I'm in this too. You do have information down below and other tools down there to help you with what you're going through. And I'm sending you all my love and prayers and energy and positivity. I thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Love you. Oh, it's like a all right. I obviously don't think Liza Cozy's gonna watch this video, but just in case, I just wanted to say, like, I want to send her a big hug and say I'm so proud of you. There are so many people on the internet lately, especially in the YouTube world, that have been taking breaks for their mental health. That is okay. You guys do not have to daily upload, YouTubers. Come on. Upload when you want to. You know, don't be so focused on the views. For me personally, I don't have Instagram. I don't have Snapchat. I don't have um, Twitter. And I realized that YouTubers use this as means to make money and to get more followers. But you have to... It, listen, if you are posting every single day in YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, and everything else, like... It will take over your life and you won't have a life to live. You'll just be living a fake one full of just pictures and videos and just constantly be publishing stuff while dying inside. So take your breaks when you need to. Unplug when you need to. We enjoy your content. I want to tell Liza Cozy, you have so... I told her in the comments already. You have so much awesome content on your channel and you're so entertaining that... If you take a month off, we're just entertaining ourselves re-watching all your best videos that you've made. Like, take a break, girl. Go on vacation because we enjoy your channel even when you're not making new content every day, every week, or whatever. Um, and I want to talk about a couple other YouTubers that are some of my favorites. Um, Prank vs. Prank was a couple who, they made some hilarious videos and I still follow them. They are a couple. They dated and lived together for 10 years. They never ended up getting married. They ended up breaking up and having to do it publicly on the internet. And they're still healing from it. But what they now realize, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, and they tell other YouTubers is they say, please, 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 for your families, for your relationships, do not daily vlog. Like she mentioned in this video, Feeling like you got to live it instead of live it. Like, make a video of it instead of, like, living in the moment. Like, don't do that to yourself, you know? Um, also, uh, there's another YouTuber. Her name escapes me at the moment. But she makes awesome videos. And she recently made a video about why she took a break and that she's been struggling um, just with feeling lonely and she's super popular on the internet and I'm sorry I don't remember her name off the top of my head but she also made a video about her weight loss because everyone's been commenting on her weight loss and she said don't do what I do because I got an eating disorder and I don't want you guys to ask me anymore for advice because I haven't been making good choices with my health and and we need to be careful about idolizing people on the internet because they're human beings who got popular on the internet. Liza Cozy, for example, is 23 years old. She's young. She's still figuring out her life. She's still figuring out her path in life. Um, 
look up to Jesus on which way you should go in life, you know? Ask God which way you should go instead of focusing on people on the internet that are still figuring things out, you know? We're all figuring things out. We're human. But anyway, I love Liza Koza's videos, at least the few that I've seen. I just subscribed. I'm going to watch more. But I just wanted to put that out there in the internet world. Go subscribe to her. She's awesome. All right. Thank you. I hope this video was helpful for you. Bye. And remember, you don't have a one-way ticket. You have a round-trip ticket. You're getting back out of this. That really spoke to me about a friend of mine who will remain unnamed, who is near and dear to my heart. She's also a mother of three little ones. And she was hospitalized um, because of an, a suicide attempt, struggling with postpartum depression. See, like, Liza Cozy, like Liza Cozy said, seek help. Seek, whether it's medication, whether it's meditation, whether it's exercise, whether it's friends, whether it's a break, unplugging, whether it's a vacation, whatever. Take care of your mental health. That's why I joined a gym. Now I need to hire a nanny because it's hard to get to the gym. I wish my gym had a child care facility or I would go more often. But um, just take care of yourselves. I, this last year, my mom passed away. This is her photo right there. That's my mom up there. There's kind of a clock covering me up in that picture, but there's my mom. Uh, I lost my mom in March. I lost a baby in August. And, you know, had some trials in our family and situations that we never wished had happened. And it's been a rough year. Um, but you've got to give it to God. I'm not standing here saying that I've got it all together because I don't. But I know that... I know that I don't have a one-way ticket into this mess. I've got a round-trip ticket. Thank you, Liza Cozy. And we are so blessed, guys. So blessed. All right. God bless you. Comment below. If I can be praying for you and you have any prayer requests, just let me know so I can be praying for my, for my friends here on the internet. All right. Take care, guys. Hug and bye.